If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this sound right here in Omnisphere. It's this sound called Keys Ring. It's really, really nice. Check it out. We're gonna create a pattern with this. We're gonna keep it really, really simple, but we're gonna make sure that we stay in the pocket. I want the drums to go ham and do what it has to do. So we're gonna keep the melodies real simple, but we're also gonna keep them very, very vibrant. Let's do it. Let's use the Akai stock tremolo sync and kind of work with this sound a little bit to give it a little bit of feel. Now the sound has a little bit of vibrance to it. It has a little bit of wobble, a little bit of movement to it. It's not dry. RC20 plugin gives a nice texture to the sound. Now it has some type of warmth to it, some type of atmosphere in the background, and that crackling really, really helps it out a lot. Dropped a little bit of EQ on it, and now it sits in the pocket well, and we can make room for some other sounds. So now what I'm going to do is hit control A to select all of my notes here, hit control C to copy it, and I'm going to control bracket over to the next track, put my cursor back at one, and then I'm going to hit control V and paste those notes to the next track, and we're going to find a different sound. I think I'm going to use this pad design sound right here. It's very, very nice. Check this out. This is going to give us a little vibrance to the track, a little background atmosphere. Check it out. You can kind of hear that chirping sound that's kind of like hanging around in the background of the sound just to give it a little bit of texture. I'm going to work with these middle notes right here. So I'm going to take off these first two right here. Then I'm going to go to the next one and take off the last two. And I'm going to alternate like that throughout the pattern. So let's take off the first two again. And then we're going to take off the last two here. And then the first two right here. And then the last two again. Now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead on and hit control A to highlight everything. And then I'm gonna duplicate the notes down an octave. Now it has a bit of a high pitch to it. Let's go ahead on and drop some reverb on that. We're going to EQ the sound to fit. Really, really, really nice. Now I'm going to work with this pluck sound right here. It's a very, very nice sound. It's going to give me like a little light melody that's playing in the background. Check it out. And what I did was, is I went to the, the envelopes right here and I took down the release. It lingers out a little bit too much and I don't, I don't really like that sound. So I lowered the release, that way it can kind of cut itself off. Let's go ahead on and drop this instrument right here. What I'm gonna do is an arpeggiated type of sound and it's gonna give the track some nice movement with a nice polish on it. You're gonna see what I mean, check this out. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate it over 
and then I'm going to highlight all of those notes and duplicate them all to the end of the pattern. That way this arpeggiated melody runs throughout the whole entire pattern. Okay, I have this next sound that's pulled up in Omnisphere. It's the power lead sound right here. It's very, very nice. Really, really nice lead. Check this out. It's a little bit harsh, but it has the tone that I want in there. So we're going to find that tone when we EQ it. But let's lay down a little melody to kind of make sure that the beat has some type of top in and it has a nice vibe to it. Let's go ahead on and do it. And then we're going to EQ that to fit. You notice what we're doing is we're getting tones from these sounds. We don't really want the full sound. We just want the tones that are inside of these sounds that we're picking. So that's the beauty about learning how to work your EQs, learning how to carve your sound. You'll notice that your beats have a lot of space, a lot of room, and not only that, but you can get the specific sounds that you want to make up the whole entire beat. What I'm going to do is show you guys a little hi-hat trick that I use to make sure my hi-hats always have some type of rhythm and some type of bounce to it. It's a very, very simple method. I call this the 4 on 4 method. Check this out. I changed my grid up here to 8. That's going to give me my two-step hi-hat that sounds like this. Okay, all I do is just make four, okay? And then what I do is I hit Control A and highlight them, and then I duplicate that to the next section. Okay, and then I do it again, all of them, and duplicate it to the next section. And then I go ahead on and do it one more time just to now reach the middle of the bar. The middle of the bar would be nine right here. So I'm just gonna work with the first half of the beat and then we're gonna duplicate everything to the second half. So now what this four on four method with the high has does is it's gonna stop right before the clap. So the clap would go here. So if you notice, watch when I play the beat. Now what you can do is you can put in all your claps and then you can start shifting those four notes to where they now give you the bounce that you want. It's the space in between the hi-hats that makes sure that you have some type of rhythm and some type of bounce to your hi-hats. So let me show you. With that bounce, all I did was just went in and put my 32 notes wherever I wanted them to be, and I changed the velocities down. So now you can start hearing that bounce that the track has, and now you're forming your rhythm, and it's all based off of just that four on four method. I'm going to disengage the drums and I'm going to lay down a nice bass texture, one of those underwater type bass synths. This is the one that I found right here in Omnisphere. It's called the Toronto Knights bass and it's a very, very lo-fi textured bass that's going to give us our break in the beat. That way we have some type of breather in the beat. This bass can play before it jumps back into the beat itself. 